Was that a parry? Okay, one omen. Oh, that's a that's a new dash attack. Okay. Okay, she's saucy. That is parry. Those are parry. Oh my that, that chaos. What is going on with multiverse? Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today guys, we're gonna be talking about what's multiverses, what happened to multiverses, and what's going on with multiverses right now. Let's get straight into it. Multiverse is a free-to-play 2v2 platform fighter that brings one of other characters to life, such as Bugs Bunny, Arya Stark, Shaggy, Harley, Garnett, Jake, Superman, and many more, and is developed by a new gaming company called Player First Games. July 19, 2022 is when they started their open beta and brought in over 153,000 players on Steam alone, not even counting for Epic Games that was possibly bringing near 100k players itself and consoles that's possibly tripling maybe even quadrupling the pc numbers and the fact to back that up is they had 20 million players in the first month of the beta yeah i know but we started to see a decline of active players over the few months due to the game issues like netcode problems nasty character bugs and a slow decline on content drops this led player first games at indie team hold up hold up did, did i just hear myself correctly multiverses was an indie team yeah an indie team produced this game I want to say around a 10-man team, majority of them not even being coders. But even so, this led the team on deciding to shut down their open beta that they wanted to keep up all the way till the release of the game, but didn't to fix the main issues of the game and went radio silence for months. March 5th, 2024, at 1 p.m., they finally tweeted Taps Mike, testing, testing, one, two, three, following up with some tweets till March 11th when they released a dev update video. Finally! In this dev video, they showed us that they switched from UE4 to UE5 and built the game from the ground and holy <laughs> these characters are huge. <clears throat> After showing us the new model sizes, they ended up showing us the new dash attack mechanic with Harley, Morty, and Taz. Into a new tumbling feature when you get hit in the air and showing us some concept art on new maps to come. Back into showing us some more gameplay off script. God damn, Tony, these characters are f***ing huge! Like, look at this f***ing Shaggy's there. <clears throat> Anyways, finishing it off with showing that the characters have collision now and giving us a release date of May 28th. The community went haywire over this video and blew up the hype of multiverses once again. Then the following day, they announced their McDonald collab, which went bonkers and just the multiverse's marketing was hyped and it was really back up. And then they radio silenced us again with pictures and pictures and pictures. And oh, we got a little something here. We got a little um, animation change and then nothing. And then we got a sneak peek at Gizmo's new dash attack. And then nothing. And then this was really pissing off the community. We didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, you know, there was a sharing um, community art and stuff, which was dope. Then finally, after all that waiting, April 7th, as you can see, Multiverses collab with the NHL. And before the April collab happens with the NHL, Multiverses has said, you know what? We're just gonna give y'all some gameplay. And right here, they end up showing us netcode gameplay, kind of showing us how the netcode is 10 times better. This is, um, a clip of just normal ping in route 50 which is pretty normal and now they're going to be showing us 150 and the red line is where you are going and the blue line is kind of like the net code trying to follow you and if you get net coding then this is awesome but if you don't get it then yeah that's kind of like the basics of like explaining how that works and then finally they show us actual gameplay which the community jump in a uproar of liking it versus hating it versus just not liking certain things it was a mix, mix world when it came to showing this gameplay, but people forgot to realize that this was gameplay to show off the net code because the gameplay that you're watching right here is Connecticut versus Mexico. So this is gameplay on 150 ping or however ping it is, but it's pi ping. And when people saw the gameplay, they're just like, oh my God, these characters are big, as I've been saying. Um, and I could agree, these characters are big. But over time, watching the video over and over and over and over, it grew on me. And on top of that, the speed. Everyone was saying, oh my god, the speed is slow, the speed is terrible. And pretty much just begging PFG to fix it before the game release because they think their game is going to fail now just because seeing this um, gameplay. That was literally based off of the netcode. But now going back to the NHL stuff, why the collab? Couldn't tell you why. But my theory is, is that this was pre-planned for a long time ago and they couldn't cancel it because if you don't know, Multiverse is supposed to drop early 2024 and with the release date that we got now of May 28th, 
could definitely tell us the game got pushed back a little bit which is fine you know as long as the game is going to be good i'm happy with it but yeah my theory is warner brothers possibly couldn't just back out of the deal or they decided to go with the deal because of you know all publicity is good publicity and i know some of y'all probably confused like wait i thought this was a pfg game it is their game but i'm pretty sure you know wb handles the marketing <laughs> hence they have the money <laughs> but yeah during the nhl game multiverses decided to show us more gameplay showing us batman doing a parry against finn superman parrying against shaggy and then wonder woman's dash attack and the community went crazy and on top of that it's the same speed and the same character size that everyone was complaining about in the netcode video yeah it's the same thing so two things are happening one you're getting used to the character size and the speed and then two this gameplay that you're seeing is to show off actual um, combos versus the netcode video we saw was just to show the netcode. It wasn't to show anything fancy or anything. It was also showing very limited stuff because if you watch that gameplay back multiple times, you can see that they didn't do a lot of moves on purpose. A lot of moves that you, um, those characters would usually do, they weren't doing it. So this pretty much utilized what you can quote unquote do. And I'm going to show more. Um, NHL clips that was actually shown at the beginning of the um, show that a lot of people missed out and thankfully I had a friend named Poppy Flan to um, rewind the video and show me that and I was able to get out to, to everybody. And the final thing to show y'all is Multiverse posted a TikTok and it showcased a new skin variant called Comic Book and this looks amazing and I can't wait to see the other skin ideas that they have planned and also at the ending you can see the new Dexter map when Velma's running um, off the stage. This is awesome pretty much telling us that the map is complete and ready to go final final thing quick things that i noticed in the netcode video snowball the perk finally has an indicator to let you know who has the most damage done next we have is batman's new dash attack which is his slide and on top of that now when he doesn't have a battering he can still throw out an attack there is clashing in the game slash trading and as you can see garnet and wonder woman hit each other garnet is able to walk with her gloves and this is her new dash attack as you can see now when you put armor on and you get hit you don't take no damage on top of that wonder woman has no cooldown on her whip and then finally batman's new down tilt you are now updated to everything related to multiverses i really hope you enjoyed this video because this took a long time to do this is probably one of my best videos i think i've ever made up to date also comment down below what are your thoughts about multiverses after learning all this information from the past to the present are you excited for may 28th that's happening in 43 days will multiverses rise or will it fall i'm bugsy i'm tired and if you do enjoy multiverses content Hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got a nine to five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.